Hey everyone, this is Austin Schur here with We Write About Music, and today I am speaking with Jennifer Sarin. She has just released a fantastic new track called Songs of Christmas, Come Dance With Me, and I am super excited to talk to her all about it. Jennifer, I want to thank you so much for taking the time. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. It's On my side of the world, it's a little early, but it's Yeah, I was going to say, I had no idea that there would be such a major distance between us. Um, uh, Jennifer is in Hong Kong at the moment, and I'm in Los Angeles. So we've got the world between us, but we have music to bring us together. And you have this new song out. Obviously, we're right in the midst of the holiday time, and it's just a perfect addition uh, to your discography and just to like the holiday music sphere. So the first thing I want to ask you is what inspired the song and how did it really get created? Well, um, I have a, we, Narada and I, Narada Michael Walden, who is my mm -hmm. producer and my collaborator. He sure. writes, he writes the melodies when, and I write the lyrics. And we have what we, we're, we're calling a tradition now because it started in the seven years ago, almost eight years ago. Nice. And while I first uh, uh, started to collaborate with Narda on other music, sort of adult contemporary, yeah. we had this conversation, me on the side of the world and him in your part of the world. Sure. And um, it was a uh, September of 2015. And we were laughing and joking. And I told him I just wrote written some lyrics to a song. Um, and I started to talk about it. And I, and I said, you know what? I'm thinking maybe I can I can change this and we can make it a Christmas song. I said, how would you like to do a Christmas song? He said, I love Christmas. <laughs> Christmas, Christmas is like, I'm all about Christmas. And I said, no, <laughs> Christmas is really my thing. Well, there we said, go. There's your title. <laughs> and that's when it started. And we pumped out a Christmas album in three weeks. That's I know. impressive in its own right. <laughs> yeah, it was great. That's wild. And so it's, we've been doing every some every every season, every Christmas season since then. Since have you, have you found it difficult to like work with someone across the world with time differences and just any delays or anything like that? Yeah, well, you know, the timing can always be an issue because sure. people have their 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 schedules and their routines, and they need to get to get home. And I wake up at a different time zone from them. Sure, but technology has bridged us. So whereas I used to have to fly to San Francisco and record with him in studio, we've figured out since the pandemic yeah. that we can do this remotely. So I was stuck in London okay. in 2000, end of 2020. I had just gone to see my daughter for Christmas and boom. So we spent 2021, we did a few recordings and, and 2022 remotely from a studio in London. That's amazing. I know where right? we are in the world, just the future <laughs> of making music. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Now, I, I think when anyone listens to any Christmas song, Christmas songs always come with preconceived notions. You're, there's like those little motifs and essences of like bells and whistles and yada yada. Like, you know what I'm talking about, right? But yeah, yeah. what this actually does so differently is it flips it and it and it just it's such a breath of fresh air. And I so sincerely oh, mean that because, you know, you walk into any store in the U.S. and the same four songs are playing, but it's like, this is the type <laughs> of music that should be playing. Um, and this long-winded rant, I, I basically want to ask you, like, if you had to put a label on this song in terms of genre or style, what would you call it? Like, how would you sum it up for someone who hadn't listened? Well, you know, a few people have said, uh, is this really a dance dance music and I'm, it's not that it's dance music or it's this or that it's that it's it's a Christmas feeling and it's a sure. spirit so when I was uh, thinking about lyrics it actually just came to me and it, it does this a lot I was happy that we were going to be getting together with family that mm -hmm. I had not seen and I just thought I was so happy that I just I, out loud I said god I feel like dancing and I thought oh okay and that's what it was. It's like I'm dancing with joy. So there you go. You know, get out there and dance with joy. Absolutely. I mean, I, I would also argue that you could dance to this. I mean, yes. For anyone Thank who's you. who's watching or listening who who hasn't <laughs> listened to the song yet, it's got a ton of jazz elements that yes. like. And, but it's and I could be wrong here, but I thought it had like some bossa nova tones to it, like a little like yes. Brazilian movement. Yes. Yes. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, 
this is exactly what I want in my <laughs> holiday music. It's got yeah, an international yeah. vibe to it. It's fun. It's fresh. Like it's legitimately a great song. Um, and I don't even celebrate Christmas, but I'm putting it on my holiday playlist. Like, there you go. It's, a, it's it's good holiday music. It's I think totally yes. versatile for literally any setting. I love it so Thank much. Thank you, Austin. That's You're so, 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 so kind. Now I want to look a little bit towards the future here because obviously we're at the end of the year. Do you have any plans in terms of new music or new directions, new avenues, anything along those lines that you'd like to talk about? Yeah, yeah. Um, we already we already got another Christmas uh, song so. ready to go, but you know, I thought we thought maybe we wouldn't step on this one because this one is really yeah. dear to us. So we'll wait for that. Um, Nard and I start went off in another direction more than three years ago. Um, jazz has really spoken to me since I was a kid. Um, sure. I grew up in a house with, with uh, somewhat older older people that were from the 40s and and 50s generation. So that music really resonates with me. Right. Um, Ella Fitzgerald and Sarah Vaughan and um, the whole romantic yeah. and fun lyrics and anyway so we we went off in a direction of jazz and uh, we put out an ep in 2019 called smoky nights okay and since then the last two christmas songs we've done a christmas in a bubble and don't let it be a sad old christmas have had that jazz tone that's that swing what you sometimes yeah. hear is bossa nova so we've married the jingle bells and sometimes you can hear in the christmas music and sure. likes to put those jingle bells in of course place. And um, and then that sort of swing and that vibe, it's a, an uplifting. If you can, I don't know, air up your skirt kind of thing. It's like whoa, totally, totally. Right? Yeah. Just a, it's just like so an think, instant mood lifter. Yeah. So we're, the, we're I think we're just going to keep going down this sort of swing bossa nova jazzy <clears throat> with some new um, new flair. We've done a couple of songs also that we're trying to place. Very cool. And they've got that like. Narda likes to call it sort of a new a new vibe. Sure. Voice, um, basically jazz. Yeah. Do you find that your process of actually making music changes based on the style of music that you're making? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. The process is uh, much more driven in the jazz genre by um, speaking a certain message to somebody. Whereas okay. in adult contemporary, it's for me anyway, it was telling you how i'm feeling right that makes sense yeah i yeah. understand i mean some people are very analytical about their you know making music and some people it just hits them in the car and they're like oh i gotta sing into my phone real quick to get it going and it really just <laughs> it really just changes from person to person but yeah, yeah. there's no yeah, right i think way you're right way. Um, yeah i think you're right obviously you're no stranger to making music you've been doing this for quite a while i want to know like when you embark on a new song, no matter the style, no matter anything, is there something specifically that you're looking forward to in the process? The thing that really gives you the most energy throughout the entire process of it all? I think if it was, <clears throat> if I was to label something, I would say it's the rhyme. Because what I've learned in the process is that, you know, a good portion of the time, yeah. if the rhyme comes e easy, then you can find a way that the message is also very consistent and and s spot on or almost spot on. Not everybody will understand the same thing from the same lyrics, right? Sure, but sure. The rhyme drives me and then the melody, right? Okay. Yeah, so sometimes yeah. that the melody comes later. Totally understand. Um, yeah. Now, I'm not sure, you know, what this year has looked like for you, but do you play shows? <laughs> Is that something that you have done or want to do or plan to in the future? I would love to. Um, I think my audience, it tends to be, uh, there's there's a huge, I want to say huge, but for this small city, there's a yeah. there's a passion for jazz in Hong Kong. But we have been closed down. That's what I was going to say. Months of, yeah, of launching the jazz. Um, I think there's far more opportunity in the, in the United States and in London. But again, sure. The pandemic has made none of this possible. So I think I, 2023 for me is to explore that. Absolutely. I was going to say, I don't think that the uh, uh, the music scene has really recovered where you are. And it's like, I, I have the opportunity to interview people all over the world. And it's been so interesting to see like 
oh, in a month we can play shows. Oh, we've been playing shows for six months. And it's just like, <laughs> what is happening? But yeah, I know yeah. obviously Asia as a whole has been so strict with reopening and lockdowns and yeah. this and that stuff. Yeah. I hope that you can get out there and do your thing and Thank just you. make people happy with what you're doing. Um, Thank obviously you. it'd be a little little tough on the remote side for you know me or getting a band together but uh yeah. that's that's part of the fun oh there's great people great people in la so uh, we oh, did right. a showcase in the september mm -hmm. of 2019 to launch okay. the jazz okay. album the first one sure and we were going to build on that okay and then we were hit right with this right. terrible pandemic yes yeah. what to do <laughs> Uh, hypothetically, have you have you like imagined what a show would look like in terms of you know music that you would play, maybe throwing in some covers, anything along those lines? <clears throat> yeah, there's always, especially in this genre, there's always covers that people love, and I've mm -hmm. picked a few out that I think maybe also not so common, but when I've seen them performed and I've heard them perform, sure, they're magical to people. Things like um, uh, Nature Boy. Everybody yeah. loves Nature Boy. Oh. Um, Round Midnight. Those are the kind of covers I might I I've thought about doing. Um, but I would like to do actually my own music because yeah, I, of course. Yeah, this that's feels what nice it's all to about. Me. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah. I mean, yeah. I I think it's always tough with an independent artist of like people may not know you <laughs> and you have to draw them in. But you also want to play your originals, and there's a nice even mix that you can do. It's just finding that balance. Yes, that. <clears throat> maybe I should come to you for some advice because you know you know this whole scene. Hey, it's my job. Come on, <laughs> come on, yeah, it's great. Send, send the message. Um, so you've you've already kind of laid out what next year is looking like a little bit, but I want to know like what are some lofty goals that you'd like to hit, or just some things that you'd like to see happen, hopefully by the end of next year. I would like, uh, I want to put, I want to put out another uh, small jazz collection. Nice. I want to hit some Christmas music very, uh, very dramatically as sure. well. Um, and it's funny, you know, in, the, in this business, apparently I've, I've learned, you have to have your Christmas music ready by June. So oh yeah, you, it's, <laughs> you have to somehow get in the spirit. Yeah. Months before. I could shop all year, but I, you know, that was a new one for me. So, okay, I can do Christmas in June, no problem. That's really um, funny. But I'd like to, I think I'd like to do some small clubs because I sure. think it's more intimate. And um, yeah, I think you, there's small clubs around California are much easier to do now that we're out there again. So many different kinds, you know, 50 people, 100 people. Yeah. To me, that's... That's about the right size. There is always yeah. a venue or something mm -hmm. or an open mic or literally there's so much going on here. There's endless opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you've got come... great musicians. Oh, that too. Do you come out here often or is it, yeah, how does that work? I was coming, I was coming three, four times a year. And oh, wow. uh, of course, that's, I've that's only a been, a... it is. Yeah. yeah. Of course, again, last couple of years, not so much, but I was sure. just there in LA for about a month. And, oh, nice. Um, speaking to music people and i did another uh, a recording and yeah. um yeah pr people and awesome. yeah all nice what you have in out in la is you have a lot of nice people and in san francisco just nice nice people yeah the city has lots of pros and lots of cons but i mean there's a reason <laughs> i've stayed here so we'll see yeah. totally um well, i have a couple more questions for you i want to sure. know what have you been listening to lately and is what you listen to on a daily basis does it have any impact on the actual music that you make um i would say the short answer to that is sometimes okay there are sometimes i hear something um and it really it, it strikes me and i listen to it a few times sure because i like to understand why it why i get that emotion because it's not always you know obvious yeah. Um, but this time of year, I just love Christmas music. So all the standards and, you know, people do covers, you know, a hundred people do the covers of the same song and it's always lovely. Sure. And um, yeah, I'd like to hear, I would like to hear more variety in the shops. You know, you go out shopping. Yeah. But, you know, I think, I mean, shops also would want to set the mood for Christmas and this is what they know people know. And I think they're, it's safe, so it's good. It's totally, safe. yeah. I, these department yeah. stores aren't really taking big musical risks over the, <clears throat> the mic, so I'm not, I'm not yeah. too concerned and about to, that. And to be fair, when people are shopping, maybe they're not 
they're not listening oh, as no. intently. They just, they like the mood, so it's fine. Totally. It's like 99% yeah. of people don't even care at all. It's the artists <laughs> and the musicians that are like immediately uh, yeah. tuned in. I love that. Um, yeah, Jennifer, I have one more question for you. And sure. the, the question is basically for the person that is going to discover you from this, and for the person that is going to listen to your music for the first time, what is an opening message that you'd like to say to them? Wow, that's a that's a big question. Um, probably when people write, whether it's something fun and frivolous or it's something to them emotional, um, I would say listen to the words. Listen to what people are, are trying to say because there is in in that so much more than what we sometimes expect and uh, if the melody speaks to you my goodness you know that's that's the magic also i fully agree i think that's a great answer as well um jennifer i i want to thank you so much for taking the time this has been great and oh, awesome thank you thank you for your time extend my invitation you know whenever you're in los angeles let's let's see a show together let's grab some dinner Let's do it. That would be fantastic. That, that would be great. Just so kind of you, really. When I will do that. To you, you, I hope you do the same because I'll be there one of these days. <laughs> do step out. Think about 2023. Lots happening. I know. I know. Um, well, please allow me to plug your music for you one more time. If you guys so missed it the first time around, the song is called Songs of Christmas. Come dance with me. We will have links in our articles so that people can listen and share and follow along and just yeah. generally stay tuned for more because it sounds like there's a lot coming and yeah thank you so much again jennifer this has been wonderful thank you austin it's very very thoughtful interview and i appreciate your your spirit thank you you are very welcome i hope to speak soon and have a great morning afternoon what time is it there? morning morning, morning. Yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> have a great it's rest of tomorrow. your day then exactly i'm, I'm just wrapping thank up you. right now awesome i'll talk to you later thank Take you care. talk bye to bye. you soon merry christmas happy I holidays well. thank you bye thank bye. you bye